Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about Ian Valier versus Blessing of Oribu quote-unquote rivalry. So basically these two guys went on a podcast, yes, both of them together, on a Mr. Olympia podcast on their YouTube channel, official Mr. Olympia YouTube channel, and these guys went back and forth, it got very heated. I'm gonna show you a couple of interesting parts, they weren't talking only about their rivalry, they were talking about many different topics, mainly about the current bodybuilding scene and about the next Mr. Olympia, this year's Mr. Olympia. So guys, if you want to check out this hour-long podcast, here is the channel. But in this video, we're going to check out a couple of interesting parts where this rivalry got heated. Check this out first. Ian does not like Blessing, and Blessing does not you like You don't have Ian. to like each other. Yeah, no, they're fighting for the listen, same listen, paper. Right? Let, let, me, let, me, let me correct you guys. It's not because I don't like Ian, you know? It's actually, I actually respect that man. You know what I'm saying? As a bodybuilder, respect him. But, you know, Ian is very easy for me. You know, he, he's too soft. He cries all the time. So that's why I like poking on him. I think, I think, <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> the fans <laughs> love this shit, bro. Like, you know, every time I say something, they think I'm the bad guy. But I guess you, what? I I'm entertaining them, bro. Listen, <laughs> I Ian, think you go saying, down like, at the like, Olympia, like bro. commenting back at you as weakness or softness. I comment back because I don't think that your silliness should go unchecked. And if you're gonna come and insult my physique- I like that, come, come wait, at me, bro. This let, is me talk. About. If, let me speak. If you're gonna come on to Antoine's post that had nothing to do with you and insult me in a public forum, I'm going to say something back. I'm not a punk, I'm not a bitch. I'm not gonna let you sit there and walk over me. If you make so a comment, I will absolutely- this was funny. It looks like Blessing is really just having fun. I don't think Blessing is really serious about his... But Ian, Ian is actually pretty sensitive. And I think he's very serious about what he's saying. About everything, really. And uh, he says that he's not too soft. That he's not too easy, like Blessing says. But that he will always stand his ground if a Blessing calls him out. But I don't know about that. I mean, if Ian really believes that Blessing is so much below him, he shouldn't even react to what the Blessing says. I do agree with Blessing when he says that Ian is easy, I do believe that Ian is very sensitive, but I do agree with most things Ian says. Let's check out this part. Blessing will explain how this whole beef with Ian actually started. All these guys, all these guys talk, and Ian, Ian is among, the, uh, among all these guys talking. Actually, Ian, you know, people people think I'm like bowling you, but I'm not bowling you, bro. You jumped on my case since last year. When I was down, bro, you kicked me, bro. Everybody was making fun of me, and you were right at the very front of it. I just when backed I was, up my boy Nick Walker. Was, and look, listen, I'm just telling you, bro, what? you're going to get smoked at the Olympia. <laughs> all you call me an Instagram bodybuilder. I continue <laughs> to prove all of you guys wrong. But bless him, you need that. You need, you you guys need that. Make excuses, bro. <laughs> if this is if this is what keeps you training hard and working you hard, and that thought that you might one day beat me, then I'm all for it. But that's, all it's gonna be is is that's guarantee, bro. That's guarantee. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and put it because out. I'm, I'm proving. Get lucky <laughs> this year. Next I've been to the Olympia be. twice. I've been to the Olympia twice. I've proved myself. You're the one now chasing well, me. Well, listen. So if you want to chase me, that's great. I, look, wait. I welcome. I welcome a challenge. It gets heated very easily. As soon as these guys start speaking, they start arguing. So this seems like a real rivalry. It really feels like these guys do not like each other. And I don't think Ian is really disregarding Blessing completely. Yes, I know, Blessing won two shows and those shows weren't exactly stacked with top guys. Blessing won New York, but this was probably one of the weakest New York pro lineups ever. I mean, he had to beat Andrea Presti and Max Charles. Uh, these guys are not exactly top Olympians. So Blessing definitely proved that uh, he can improve. And still, no matter the lineup, winning two pro shows in one year, that's a big deal. That's not nothing. That means a lot. And even though I see that Ian is confident that he will be in that top six, I think he has Blessing somewhere around top 10, you know, and that's not really that big of a difference, that's like 3-4 spots, so I think he sees Blessing as a potential threat, maybe not this year, maybe next year, I don't know, but he is not completely disregarding him. Let's check out this next part, this was also very much fun. I, I have no doubt that me at my best can compete with anybody in the world, and I think Blessing is on a track to be there, but I don't think he's there yet, I think he's in the category with Andrew Jacks, where there are still gaps in his physique that when he stands on the stage with the best bodybuilders in the world will be much more exposed. I think beating Justin Rodriguez at 65% or Hassan or these guys 
versus placing against Nick Walker or Hunter Labrada or Hottie Chopin or Rami or myself is a very, very, very different animal. And being someone that's been to the I like it, thank you. Guys, I like the energy, bro. This is a point where I completely agree with Ian. Even though Blessing might have a lot of potential, and even though he looked very good at that New York Pro and Indy Pro that he won, Mr. Olympia is a different animal. And if he thinks he can sneak up in that top seven and beat Ian, for example, you know, that's, that's gonna be tough. Who knows, maybe it will happen, maybe he will make more improvements, but personally, I don't think I can see it, not this year at least. Now, we still have to wait and see him, see Blessing in that lineup, on that stage, and then, only then, we can make any conclusions. Now, what do you guys think? How would Blessing do at the Mr. Olympia stage? Again, me, personally, I have him somewhere around 10th. Maybe he will crack the top 10, maybe he will be 11, 12, I don't really see him placing higher than that. But let's hear what is Blessing's modest opinion of his potential placing. I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna be nice. I'll be nice to ENT. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, all right. So, the way I see it, I see Brandon winning, Rami second, Adi Cupin toward. I said the boogeyman fourth. All right, so you heard it. Blessing has himself in fourth. He thinks he will beat Nick Walker, Hunter Labrada, Ian Valier, and so many other great bodybuilders. I don't know if he honestly believes that or not, but it probably doesn't hurt. You know, as they say, aim for the moon, you might get one of the stars. So in that way, it's probably a good thing if he's confident enough that he believes that he is fourth best bodybuilder in the world. Me personally, I don't think I can see that. He never stood next to those guys, he was never on a Mr. Olympia stage. But a similar thing happened uh, last year with Nick Walker when he said he was gonna win the Arnold Classic and some other older, more established bodybuilders felt like it was a disrespect, but then Nick Walker won that Arnold Classic, so he proved them all wrong. Now, is Blessing gonna do the same thing? Me, personally, I don't really see it. Anyways, after a little while, Nick Walker joined this podcast, actually, and he gave us his top six, and he had Ian in sixth place. And here is Ian Valier's reaction, and also his reaction to Blessing's prediction, saying that he's gonna be top four. If Ian comes into the Olympia uh, more conditioned than when he was at the show he just won, then I have him clearly in top six. Yeah. So and you're leaving out a few. You're leaving out a few people that aren't that aren't being talked yeah, about. Ian is, is very it's... happy with that top six right there. He's yeah. happy with six. <laughs> Ian oh, okay. don't even want to win. I don't think Ian <laughs> Ian can get ever ever this life went to Olympia. <laughs> no, I just live. I live in reality, unlike you. You're living in fucking. Hey. Yeah, so Ian says Blessing is living in a boogeyman land and that Ian is a realist. And, you know, I get that. Ian has established himself as a top seven in the world two years in a row. So he's actually right there. He's knocking at the door of that top six. Blessing hasn't really proven himself. So when he says something like this, it doesn't really sound very realistic. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see uh, in a couple of months. We'll see how this so-called rivalry is going to end. But I don't think we can call this an actual rivalry. I don't really think these guys are rivals, you know. They never really placed close one next to another to say that. You can say that Brandon Curry and Big Remy are rivals now. Or Hunter Labrada and Nick Walker. But Ian and Blessing, they just hate each other. They just don't like each other. And that's about it. They are both bodybuilders. They are both uh, qualified for the Mr. Olympia. I don't want to say they're both Olympians. Because Blessing still has to prep and get on that stage. I hope we will have a... An actual call out, Ian Valier versus Blessing, that would be really entertaining. But if they don't deserve it, if Blessing is not that good, top seven Olympia material, we will probably not see that. But whatever happens, these fights, these online arguments are definitely very entertaining. And again, it will be so much fun to see these guys in an actual call out. After having these arguments, it will be so much fun to see them on stage. What do you guys think? Are they gonna be that close? as far as bodybuilding, as far as physique. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.